for the following parabola, find the vertex, the focus, and the directrix. So, let's remind ourselves of what these terms mean. If I want to create a parabola, what do I do? Put a line down, we'll call that the directrix. I'll choose a point, call that the focus. Then we're going to take all points so that the distance from your point to your focus equals the distance from the point to the directrix. We're talking shortest distance here. Then, if I take our focus, shortest distance to the directrix, halfway between is going to be our vertex. Okay, if our graph is pointed up, then we'll call this number P, distance between focus and our vertex. If it's pointing down, we'll call it minus the distance. Okay, so how are we going to solve to get each of these items? So what I need to do first is put our parabola in standard form. Since the x has the square, our standard form is going to look like 4 times the number p, y minus y0, x minus x0 squared. So our strategy is going to be to isolate the x minus x0 squared. Okay, push everything off to the other side, and then that's how we'll get to each of our items. Okay, when I'm in this form, vertex is just going to be x0, y0. Our directrix is just going to be the line y equal to y0 minus p. And then our focus, that's just going to be the vertex plus the point 0 comma p. Okay, if we were doing this with the bowl going like that or like that, so that would be with the y squared, then we would be adding p comma 0. To proceed, we complete the square. So what are we going to do? We're going to isolate all the terms with an x in them, 12x squared minus 48x. Factor the 12 out, I complete the square on x squared minus 4x. The formula for that, x plus a squared equals x squared plus 2ax plus a squared. Move your a squared to the other side, and then all you have to do is identify the 2a that's in front of the x. In this case, 2a is going to be equal to minus 4, so a is equal to minus 2, and then we subtract off minus 2 squared. Okay, note the number here is always a negative. Okay, if A is positive or negative, you square it, the sign goes away, and then we put another sign on it here. All right, I'm going to take this, put it back into here, push the 12 through. What happens then is, put it back into the original equation, and now I can start isolating the term that has the x minus 2 squared in it. All right, once I've done that, just algebra, I'm going to wind up with x minus 2 squared equals minus 6 y plus 2. Now that I have the standard form, I can go and find the items on our list. First, we want the vertex. So that's just x0 comma y0. x minus x0 says x0 is equal to 2. I think of this as y minus minus 2 says y0 is equal to minus 2. So our vertex is 2 comma minus 2. We put that on the xy plane. Next, let's find p. p is the distance between the vertex and the focus with a minus sign if our parabola faces down. So we have 4p is going to be equal to what's in front of our y minus y0. So that's going to be minus 6, or p equals minus 3 halves. So we're facing down distance from Vertex to focus is 3 halves. To get the point for our focus, we just add 0 comma p. So that's the same as adding 0 comma minus 3 halves. So our focus is at 2 comma minus 3 and a half. That's the point right there. Our directrix is given by y equal to y0 minus p. So we're going to take y0, which is minus 2. Minus p is minus, minus 3 halves. So we have a directrix at y equal to minus a half. And I put that in there. So that's the answer to the question. Now, just to recap, okay, our directrix and our focus give us everything we need about the parabola. Just remember, if I have any point on the parabola, distance from focus to that point is equal to distance from that point to directrix.